One day, Thomas was at the quayside of a small village. The early morning catch of fish was being loaded into his trucks. The work took a long time. The fishermen were using old equipment, and Thomas was worried. I'm going to be late for Henry at the docks. He won't like this. Please hurry up and. Thomas was rudely interrupted. His driver and fireman laughed. Phew! Sniffed Thomas. What a pong! He was glad when they were speeding along the beautiful coastal run. As they approached the lighthouse, they saw a man waving a red flag. What's the matter now? High tides are damaging the track, reported the man. I've marked the spot. We'll go and inspect, said the driver. It would be dangerous for heavy engines like Henry, agreed the driver. But for Thomas, it's safe enough. The guard left a red oil lamp by the damaged track to warn engines. When we get to the docks, I'll tell them to close the line. Henry was waiting anxiously for Thomas's trucks. Why, you're late, and that smell is making me ill. I can't help it. It's the fish," replied Thomas. "And there's danger on the rails. That's why we're late. <laughs> you're the only danger on the rails, Thomas. Now stop wasting time and get your trucks hitched to my train." Thomas's driver and fireman were in the yardmaster's office when they heard Henry's whistle. There he was, steaming out of the station with his long, heavy train called the Flying Kipper. What route is Henry taking tonight? Asked the driver. The coastal run. It's the quickest. But I told you that's dangerous for a big engine like Henry. The yardmaster quickly phoned the signalman. Henry roared past the signal box. I'll soon make up for lost time. The signalman was answering the telephone, but couldn't hear the warning. By the time he did, Henry was far away in a cloud of steam. But when Henry reached the coastal track, his hopes for a fast run were dashed. Fog floated everywhere. I can't see! cried Henry. Nor could his driver. When he could, it was too late. As soon as the tide was high enough, Henry was craned out of the water. Engines don't swim, Henry. You were meant to deliver fish, not swim with them," said the fat controller. "You should know that by now." "Yes, sir. I'm sorry, sir." When Henry arrived at the docks, Cranky the crane looked down at him disdainfully. "My, my, Henry! I expect you'll have some fishy tales to tell. But take my advice: have a long hose down first." Hissed Henry, but there was worse to come. Look, said a child. They've caught all this fish and a green whale too. It's not a whale; it's a monster. Henry was most upset. Thomas now felt sorry for Henry. Come on, your driver says it's time for a nice hot washdown. Then you'll feel much better. And Henry did. I'm sorry I was rude to you, Thomas. Oh, that's all right. But can you smell something? What? 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 Asked Henry nervously. Fresh air. Oh yes, replied Henry.